Memorial Day. I wish all the veterans, all the fallen, uh, all those deceased and all their family members the very best as we honor them on our Memorial Day. As always, the Eric Dieter Show is sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga. Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, I came in on Memorial Day to do the show, so we're going to do a show. Well, Kevin McCarthy and Joe Biden announced over the weekend that they have reached a principle of a deal. Maybe it'll blow apart. Who knows? I think they were trying to calm the market, so to speak. There are many Republicans, conservatives who are still upset about the deal. As the days go by, we'll find out, of course, is the way it always is, what's in the deal. Apparently, in 60 days, we know that the pause and paying back the college loans is going to stop. And we know a few other things, but we'll have more to comment about that as everybody else finds out as well. There will be no, this is interesting, Twitter will not agree to stay in a European Union censorship program. And European Union is all upset, but good for Twitter. Twitter's standing up to it. You know, Elon Musk drives us crazy on some issues, but other issues he does well. You know, let's face it. It's not Twitter better in his hands than Jack Dorsey's. I'd say yes. Jane Fonda says white men are the problem with all the climate issues. Really? Are the Chinese white men? Are they? Janie? <laughs> and he wants them arrested. I don't know who those white men are, but Jane wants them arrested. By the way, she, I watched 80 for Brady only because my wife ordered the movie and watched it. So I watched it too. You can't recognize this woman. She's had more, I mean, I'm not kidding you. Where'd Jane Fonda go? Is that really Jane Fonda? Even her voice sounds different. Liz Cheney was booed at Colorado College, her alma mater, where she went to school. And some kids turned their seats around. You know, I'm blown away how certain colleges, who they have come to be their commencement speakers. Who would ever ask Liz Cheney? That hog kid got to address a commencement. Unbelievable. Texas Attorney General has been impeached by a vote of the House. Uh, there will now be a trial in the Senate. It mostly stems around some former workers uh, of his, the, the alleged mistreatment, and they threw a bunch of other sorted allegations. Ted Cruz and Donald Trump stand behind the Attorney General. The governor of the state, Abbott, is against him. 60 Republicans and 60 Democrats voted for the impeachment. Elizabeth Holmes finally is going to begin her 11-year sentence. She'll still be a relative young woman when she gets out because she'll get out earlier than that, end up in a halfway house and all that good stuff. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has her day. Coming up next, Bulldog TV local news. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, this is Eric Dieters, or Bulldog TV Local News, sponsored by Dieters Consulting, Parks Yoga. Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, our lead story is yesterday was the big anniversary of the Beverly Hills Supper Club fire, and there was a dedication of the memorial there in Southgate by the city of Southgate. It is, without any doubt, uh, probably the biggest tragedy that's ever struck our community. I think 163 died, uh, lots of litigation over it. I believe in Peter Bronson's book that it was either arson uh, by a disgruntled worker or probably arson by the mob, not aluminum wiring. Sorry, Stan. And long crime. Bradley Gillespie, the escapee, one of the two uh, escapees, the other guy's name, Lee, was found dead in the Ohio River down in Henderson County. He must have tried to swim across it. Caleb Savage, he is a Ripley Police Department officer from Brown County who chased Ryan Mitchell in Mason County, Kentucky. And uh, Aaron actually died, or excuse me, Ryan Mitchell actually died. They have now charged this officer with reckless homicide. What the hell was he doing chasing some? See, I'm going to tell you what, I don't know what Ryan Mitchell's crime was. But this is an example. You don't do high-speed chases. You just let them go unless they're like the Zodiac Killer. In local news, Ryle High School seniors had this big prank that they played, 
and I got some inside information. It was really bad. You know, they this is the new thing. They put Vaseline on floors. They toilet paper everything. But apparently a pregnant teacher fell. Uh-oh. Not good. So that senior prank's gone bad. I think these senior pranks, you know, have got a little bit out of hand. Just a little bit. I mean, I understand a little bit of prank, but completely trashing your school? Think of a better prank. Taste of Cincinnati was all this weekend. I hope you went and enjoyed it. I did not because I hate crowds. <laughs> I do. I hate going. I've been to the Taste of Cincinnati plenty of times. I choose not to go again. Memorial Day. This is Memorial Day. We honor the fallen. I hope you're enjoying all the parades around town that we have. Josh Wentz just sent me a nice little meme from Erlanger. If you have a wonderful photograph from your city's parade, send it to me. We'll bulldog media and we'll post it. Harambe, yesterday was the anniversary of his death. When a child fell inside his cage, so to speak, and they had to shoot and kill him, poor Harambe. He became a legend after that. You become a legend if you die in weird ways. You ever notice that? The Kentucky State News, Glenna Bevan, that beautiful young woman right there, filed for divorce against Matt Bevan in her divorce petition. They say um, they've been separated for over a year. This probably explains a little bit why he didn't run for governor, if you know what I mean. There's been a lot of speculation that Matt Bevan has a love child with a former co-worker. Where there's smoke, is there fire? I don't know. But uh, to have nine kids and file for divorce, there must be some real problems. In Indiana State News, Dr. Caitlin Bernard, an Indiana doctor, performed an abortion on a 10-year-old rape victim. She was found guilty uh, by the state, uh, state and federal privacy laws by the Indiana Medical License Board. I think she was fined $3,000, was not suspended. Now, I am pro-life. I am pro-life. And I don't know the medicine of this, but I would have to assume that a 10-year-old's life is in danger if she's going to try to carry a child. I mean, isn't it? I don't know. In Ohio State News, an Ohio special election is going to be set for this August. This has to do with requiring 60% uh, to change the Constitution uh, and the House vote to change the Constitution, to put something on the ballot, on in the August ballot. I think that's the only thing on the August ballot. <laughs> Crazy. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Coming up next, Jamie Spence Finley and his world news. Hello, guys. Happy Memorial Day. The latest world headlines. A boat overturned and sank from strong winds in the northern part of Italy on Lake Maggiore. Sunday morning, four of the 20 passengers died. A second night of Russian missiles has hit Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, following a night of heavy drone strikes. Ukraine has said they have shot down all and there are no reports of casualties. It has been estimated that more than 1,500 protesters have been arrested by the police in the Netherlands after blocking a major highway near The Hague. The protesters are demanding an end to the fossil fuel subsides. Mexico and United States are using the World Health Organization to declare a public health emergency over a fungal outbreak linked to cosmetic surgeries in New Mexico. The CDC has identified 25 people in the US with cases of the fungal meningitis. And in sports, Southampton, Leeds United and Leicester City are all relegated to the championships. And Van Strappen won the Monaco Grand Prix X yesterday. Until tomorrow, have a fantastic Memorial Day. See you then. And stay tuned for Bulldogs Sports Reports with Eric and Nick. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Bulldog Sports May 28, 2023. We only have 24 topics to oh cover. Oh, God. 24 Good. topics. Good evening. If, if you thought we were going to take Memorial Day weekend off, you're wrong. I got my flag on. He's got his Indian. He's representing the fourth place Indians. By the way, you guys are in fourth place, three and a half out. Yeah. The Reds are 23 and 28. And only four games yeah, out. Four games out, also in fourth place. All right, let's start with the NFL flex rule. What the NFL flex rule they announced this week is this 
nice and simple. They're going to flex games into Thursday night, but they have to be 30 days notice. They don't think it's going to make a big difference. They don't think there's going to be many games, but the bottom line is they're going to flex them in. Well, I know. What do you think of this, Nick? I know players hate it, but they signed the contract, and that's the big controversy. You guys wanted more money because of more games? Okay, you got more money, but now we get to tell you when you're going to play. That's right. I I don't know. There's going to be more injuries. Next big rule they announced this week, NFL fair catch rule. Tell the ladies and gentlemen, the American jury, what the new NFL fair catch rule is, Nick. Uh, Just like college, if you catch the ball outside of the end zone, uh, you get the ball at the 25-yard line. As far as I know, that's it's as simple as that. So you don't have to run it if you get it. Right. Or down it right there. Makes sense. NFL emergency quarterback, because this happened a few times this year, because these roster moves. So now they're going to allow you to pick another player who can be your quarterback. Is that correct? Uh, That's correct. San Francisco needed that in the playoffs, I believe. I'm going to just go ahead and say right now that if the Cincinnati Bengals or the Dallas Cowboys, only those two teams, I will not play for any other team besides the Cowboys and the Bengals. If you would like to designate me, I will show up and quarterback the team. Right. Why not? Heck yeah. You know what, Nick? In all seriousness, it's all relative. Look who I would have blocking for me. Mm -hmm. I think I could hand the ball off. (laughs) I think I could throw a short out and not get intercepted. (laughs) All right. LeBron James... He's out of the playoffs. Brought up the idea of retirement at the post-game uh, uh, press conference. And you know what? I've been thinking about this. It would not surprise me if LeBron did for the following reasons. He's the all-time scoring record. Right. He's got all these records. Right. He knows that he's getting old in the tooth, 20 years playing. The, the Lakers seem to be struggling a little bit. They're a little old with him and uh, Davis. And Bronny is starting college. Mm-hmm. So he could devote all of his attention to Bronny. What do you think? No. He's got one record that that keeps him from retiring, and that is the six championships. Ooh. Michael has, and he does not have. And that's He wants one more. Before he gets there, he's still here to Michael. All right, fair enough. Kellen Moore from the Dallas Cowboys is now going to Las Vegas. Do you think that, that will help Las Vegas or not? Because I think Kellen Moore got stale. Is, is he an o, he's going to be the OC? The offensive coordinator. Man, he's he's a pretty good OC, but he did get stale in Dallas. Who wouldn't? All right, this next one. Listen, we are not politically correct, okay? It's kind of funny. It's racist, but it's funny. Glenn Kuyper, who's been the ace Marty Brenneman for 13 years, yeah. got canned because in a pregame conversation, he brought up that he had been to Kansas City in the Negro League he went to the yeah, Negro. Yeah, he went to the Negro League Museum, right. and he said the E R instead of the O E, yeah. and he got canned, and he apologized. Ridiculous. I think it was a slip of the tongue. So and you know who the Kansas City Negro Museum folks have said. It's okay. We accept your apology. But so it wasn't like he said the ER word out of the blue. No, he, he said it with Negro. He's in San Francisco, though. The the epitome. The the you know what? You know what? Of political even, correctness. Even though we are not a politically correct show, even we're not allowed to say the ER word. <laughs> but we. But how crazy is it? You can say Negro, yeah. but you can't say the ER word. Yeah. Not even on Bulldogs Sports. Can, if you say the ER word, I'm going to fire you. You can only say Negro in accordance with Negro League Baseball. That's the only time. That is right. The only time you can say it. All right. Just a little blurb. FC Cincinnati continues to be the best team. Is that amazing? FC Cincinnati is the best team in pro soccer. Did they tie again? What happened? (laughs) I, I don't Next, Reds baseball. The Reds are the Reds are four games out of first place at 23 and 28. Bait the Cubs again today. The freaking Cubs. Hey, how about Aaron Judge? 15 homers. Signs, isn't it nice? Signs a gigantic contract. Hits 15 homers right. and count. Joey Votto signs a big contract. <laughs> See ya, Joey. <laughs> Joey signed his contract how long ago? But still, he has sucked every day since that contract. Uh, he's not judge, that's for sure. He not only sucks, does he, Josh, but he's got mental issues, oh, depression oh, sure issues, does, all these issues. He sure does. God, he's a head case. He sure is. Not to mention he's from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing, no offense, Canadians. All right, next up, golf. 
block jump 3,000 or 300 points. 3,000, I think it was. 3,000. Yeah, right. And he got it to like 500, but he went out this week. Right, 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 right. right. Is he falling again? Is block well, done? You know what he said? He said he missed his dog, and he knew at that point he wasn't going to fare well. <laughs> he had a great uh, attitude about it after he missed the cut. He said, you know, I'm not anywhere close to these guys. I had my week of in the sun, and, you know, I'll, and, be, I'll see you next year. <laughs> in these boring days of sports, it's amazing we got 24 topics. In these boring days of sports, I noticed today PGA, LIV, all at the same time on television, mm -hmm. two different stations. Every week they do. Wow. Every week they do that. And you know what? What's wrong with competition? Exactly. That's what the PGA fears the most. You know what? If, if, the, ex what if the XFL ended up being as great as the NFL, fine. I say competition well, in sports. XFL, aren't they backed by the NFL in some way? I think they are. Yes. And this was old news because it was last week, but it was when we did our show. Kepka won the Open. Yeah. Kepka's back in the winning circle. Yes, he is. Which is good news because we all get to see his girlfriend. That, right. <laughs> and he's a somewhat of a D-bag and a villain, if you rather like that. But, yeah. He's Him, still got a hot girlfriend. He does. <laughs> Roger, Roger Goodell. They say they're going to sign him up through 2027, you, Nick. You have to. He's the ultimate villain, and he makes the NFL tons of money. You know what, though? What does he do? When you really think right, about it, really how many hours a week does Roger Goodell work? Josh, I would say he works 10 hours a week. If, if. If? What do you think, Nick? It's the only freaking uh, business that can go more woke and make more money. I mean, yeah, you could be the commissioner. I could be the I'd commissioner. be a great commissioner. All right, Big Ben from the Steelers admitted that he hoped Pickett sucked. And he apologized to, to him this week. trying to find that story. I just... There's some honesty there. There's some honesty. Big Ben, it's okay. I would have what is now did you hear about this uh, Vinicus soccer game? Yeah. Where they, they were shouting monkey at this guy. Uh, oh, I did hear about yeah, it. Yeah, they were shouting monkey. And I mean, my <laughs> God, in a pro soccer game. That's Europe, right? That was Howard Cassell moment. <laughs> All right. Morant, you know, two times with the guns. Yeah. Now they did a welfare check because he posted some, like, it's over kind of things on Instagram. And they sent the police to do a welfare check. And he said out. he said he was getting rid of social media. You're right. But now they're claiming that his mom and dad are the problem with him guns. But his mom actually sick Morant and his buddies <sighs> on somebody at the mall <laughs> that sold him the wrong shoe or something. I didn't hear yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, when man. When I saw a welfare check, I thought, oh, my God. His mom's he's the getting, leader of the Morant gangster he's family. He's getting illegal uh, welfare checks or what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's not... <laughs> I don't think with his money, Nick Batista, he needs to worry about well, welfare you know, checks. He's kind of a looney tune, so. By the way, I'm going to add something. I'm going to add something to sports. I'm just going to do it out of blue right now. You don't need to put a picture up for it, Josh. Great story on the way here I saw. Um, Charles Barkley told Zion Williamson, yeah. you know, who's missed like more games than he's played in four years. Right. He said, let me give you some advice. Get in shape <laughs> and you won't get hurt. You can make 500 million more yeah. dollars if you just get in shape. And Barkley said Moses Malone is the one that told his fat ass to get in shape. Nice. When he went to Philadelphia, he goes, Moses Malone said, Get in shape, Charles. <laughs> yeah, you can have one guy that tells the truth, and it's Barkley. Everybody loves him. Exactly. Anybody exactly. else tells the truth or ostracized. Do you believe it in the history of the NBA? No team has ever come back from 3 0 to win a series, and the Celtics on a putback last night in Miami Incredible. is on the verge of doing that. Incredible. Because how do the Celtics lose in the Boston Gardens game seven? No way. They don't. And they're not going to lose against Denver. Either. No. No, they're not going to lose against Denver. <laughs> they they are going to make history. That's what the NBA the, needed. The Miami, the, the Miami, you're right. The Miami Heat is like, huh, huh. Jimmy yeah. Butler and Bam did not show up last night. Oh, Jimmy Butler was nails last night, man. He made them three, three, four. Oh, at the end, up, up until then he was like two and nineteen. Was he? Yeah, he was two. He not. By the way, this is funny. There was like ten minutes. There was like two or three minutes left. They were down by 10. Yeah. I turned it off. I, I found out that they were up by one with three seconds left. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this game's over. Me too. All right. Stars came back. or The Nuggets swept the Lakers. That's all we need to say about oh, that. Oh, that's right. Swept them. Uh, the Stars are 3-2 uh, to two to Vegas. Vegas is up 3-2. to two. Stars came back last night. Panthers swept the Hurricanes. 
Four to nothing. Who won a cup last year? One of them two teams? Uh, no, I think I think Tampa Lightning did. Or was it the Devils? Heck, I forget. <laughs> All right, now this is fun stuff. <laughs> Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan have a big, big feud. And you know why? Because Michael Jordan's son is dating Pippen's ex-wife. Oh, oh that's why. Of all the women in the world. Uh, Can you hear Scotty saying this to Michael? Of all the women in the world, your son's got to date my ex-wife? Yeah, so I'm going to say that you sucked when you played. You weren't really that good. That's the feud. That he said. Pippen said that about Michael Jordan. Do you believe that? Scotty Pippen. <laughs> tell, we all watched Michael Jordan all those years. The GOAT. And Scotty Pippen says, you sucked. <laughs> really, Scotty? Really? <laughs> And you and Josh and Willow could have played with Scotty. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> Michael Michael Jordan. And won them champions. Correct. That's how we could have been you, Scotty. We could have been Scotty, you. Top 50 player. No, you know why? Because of the guy next to you. Remember, there's a song. It's it's Euro Trip. You ever you ever see the movie Euro Trip? And there's a there. Matt Damon actually plays the singer. This guy gets <laughs> cheating on his girlfriend, and this guy sings. It's the opening of the movie. It's one of them teenage movies, and this guy goes. The song is Scotty. He doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. He's he's cheating on his girlfriend. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty knows now. Yeah, he does. Scotty, man. You know what an ego kill, Why man. You dog, the greatest player of all. I just want you to know, Nick. I know. Why now? If I get You're divorced, your son is not allowed to go out with my wife. <laughs> I know that. John Gruden is back as a yeah. uh, assistant helping Derek Carr at the New Orleans Saints. I say good things. Wow. So all this we heard about Carr and Gruden feuding and they hated each other? Uh, not true. Him. Not true. John Gruden got screwed by yes, the NFL. Did. Screwed. Yes, I love John. I, I yeah, thought John Gruden. words that got you fired, right? Right. That's what basically. I think John Gruden was a great ambassador for the NFL. There's in no football. doubt. You know, back into the booth. Aaron Boone's been getting kicked out yeah. of so many games for the Yankees. They've suspended him. I know. I mean, what the hell, man? <laughs> suspended him for getting kicked out of too many games? Four games. Is there a new rule that says you can't get kicked out of three games in one week or no, you're out of here? It's not the Yankees. Shouldn't they let him be able to get kicked out of every game if he wants? Yeah, right. Be volatile. Be Bobby Cox. Uh, the uh, Arizona Cardinals cut DeAndre Hopkins. Big deal, no deal. Well, I knew it was coming because he don't get along with the quarterback. All right. This is an interesting story. Uh, Malone, the mailman, made $5 million on Dream Team sales. Michael Jordan's Dream Team jersey made like a couple million bucks. Larry Bird's only made $300,000. <laughs> Well, hey Scotty, what did your jersey go? Exactly. What did your jersey go no for, Scotty? Called Air, or I mean Pippin. Right? Yeah, there's no, there's no Air Pippin shoe. There's no movie named after you. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Pippin shoe? And as much as I hate Michael Isn't, Jordan, he's the greatest player ever. He's better than LeBron. I love Sorry. Michael Jordan, man. He freaking, the, you idiots! He's the reason you guys are making a billion dollars. You're right? absolutely you know? right. He's that guy. He started the shoe business, man. I mean, yeah, Magic and, and Bird, okay, they went to here, but Michael Jordan. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, last on our list of 24 is the Indy 500, marred by crashes oh, at the end. Lord. Who was, won the dang thing? I don't even know who won. I was coming back from Cleveland. I was listening to it on the radio. I, all the prep, and it was supposed to be the greatest. It was the fastest qualifying ever, and uh, it, Chevy won. I forget the guy's name, but the guy who came in second would have been back-to-back. -back. Erickson and his girlfriend. Oh man, is she a good? Is she a smoke show? Yeah. Would you like to see? December. Would you like her watch her drink milk well, at the and <laughs> and the winning in, in the winter circle? Well, I'm telling you, uh, race car drivers. Is there a lot of milk to drink? They, they and, <laughs> oh, I don't know. She was wearing a sundress. But <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else, Josh Wentz, that we did not cover? <laughs> well, what? we went through 24 really what? quick, man. What? Look at that. What? Happy Memorial Day to you. God bless all of our veterans, yes. all of our soldiers, yes. all who have fallen. Right on. Thank God for you. We're not woke here. We yes, love you. We're here. Have a great time, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>